will also be a 3 liter supercharged V6 model. The North American market, however, will only see the gas versions by the 2016 model year, unless Jaguar spends the money to make the diesel compliant with U.S. laws by then. Look for it to come with an 8-speed automatic rear-wheel drive transaxle. At the same show, Lamborghini, best known for its powerful sports cars with a distinctive exhaust note, went quiet with the reveal of the Asterian LP910. Ostensibly branded a concept, this is a plug-in hybrid that can turn heads. It has a range in pure electric of 50 kilometers, and this is enabling the car to drive emission-free in the cities. But on the other hand, you have also a very strong V10 engine, and in combination with three electric engines, we achieve a horsepower of 910, which is the most powerful Lamborghini we've ever built. Its competition will be the Porsche Spyder 918, which is already boasting about its performance and green technology. In the more pedestrian segments, Kia continues its role with the presentation of a restyled Sorento crossover with new internal smart technology and upscale features like blind spot detection. But not one to miss the green party, Paris saw what appears to be the production version of the Electric Soul small crossover. The company has already announced plans to make both of these platforms available in the North American market sooner than you think. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.